also, you just got off of your UFC debut here. How did it feel once you got out of the octagon? Did you have any kind of jitters or anything while you were in there? Yeah, it was a. It felt great, you know, with the win and stuff. I think I would have been devastated if I'd lost, but you know, it, it just felt good to get that one out of the way. And now it's no surprises, you know. And uh, that was that was a great opponent for my first first go around and tough opponent. So, a lot I, of the media had actually him winning. Do you think it was that close? I didn't think so. I thought he had a real good first round with that uh, with that good shot that he hit me with. Other than that, I don't think it was anything crazy. I think it was a little bit back and forth, and nothing has really landed significant uh, besides that one. And uh, of course, when it came down to the third period, I figured, you know, as soon as I got him down, it was my game and it was my time. So, and, and from there, I think it was complete domination. Any jitters walking into the octagon? I mean, a lot of guys say it, it, it is uh, it's something to worry about. Surprisingly, no. Which I was, which I was really, uh, I was planning on there being big jitters when I walked out there, and uh, there wasn't. I was really excited to be there, but uh, basically, it was just making sure that I stuck to the game plan, and uh, and pretty much I did. So uh, you know, everything went pretty much to to plan. Besides, you know, taking that big shot. So yeah, were you hurt with that <clears throat> big shot in the first? It was just one of those quick, you know, in and out real quick, like you just. Had like a flash, but it was a quick flash. It wasn't like, oh, I'm dazed and I'm trying to find myself. It was like, boom, right back to right where I was. I'm like, okay, you know, keep your hands up, watch what's coming, you know, and uh, that was it. Did you expect that this would go the distance at all? I mean, you've had a lot of your wins by knockout in the first round. So what was it like for you having to go the distance here? Yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't a big deal to me to go 15 minutes. Uh, I didn't figure he could, and. Uh, I plan on this for a while, you know. Uh, my biggest uh, mistake was the one time that I lost and I didn't plan for going the whole rounds. And uh, since then I've trained nonstop to go all 15 minutes hard. And uh, so I'm prepared for it. I'm prepared for the worst every time. And that's about, as, that's about how you don't want to go is to get hit in the first round that hard and then have to go the whole 15 minutes. So it's, it's great when you get hit with that kind of adversity and then you just fight through it anyways. So, uh, you know. What's it like for you being that you've had a brother that's been through this experience already and now it's your turn to really shine in the octagon? How has that worked out relationship-wise? Did you get any kind of advice from him? You know, I haven't got a ton of advice from him, but, uh, you know, I learned a ton from him when I first started. And, and uh, just, of course, having family right by you and working with you and stuff is, is always a blessing anyway. So, uh, you know, he, but he hasn't said a whole lot to me about, you know, get ready for this, be ready for that. It's kind of like, you know, you got there, you know what you're doing. I'm not going to try and quarterback it, you know. So. I also understand that you just recently had a new addition to the family. Emotionally, what was that like coming to the octagon, knowing that you've got that newborn at home? Oh, it's, uh, it's great, you know. It's just once you have one kid, you're fighting for them. Now you got two, so <laughs> you're trying to feed, you know, three mouths, you know, the wife and kids. And, uh, you know, the best thing that ever happened to me was, was uh, having children. So, you know, it's, it was just great to have another healthy one.